Welcome to Mind Body Ballroom. I'm Amber Copeland, and today I'm going to be teaching you a secret on how to get smoother movement in body contact when you're dancing smooth or standard. Now, the misperception with body contact is that it's all about the actual contact on the man and woman's right hand side. That is actually the result of something else that we need to do, and that's the secret that I'm going to share with you today. In order to have smooth movement, we have to have a proper isolation and coordination of the femur, the upper leg bone, in the sockets in the pelvis. So the femur head, right, the top of the femur is like a ball, and then it sits in the pelvis. It's a ball and socket joint. So it can move forward and back, it can move side and side, and it can also rotate. So there's a lot of movement available in here. Now around this joint are a bunch of muscles, right? And if we have unnecessary tensions in some of those muscles, then you're going to get restrictions in the movements, right? And you're also not going to be able to isolate the leg movement from the pelvis. So when you move your leg forward, your pelvis may move forward as well. Now that may be a big movement or it may just be a slight movement. But ideally, for the smoothest movement possible to get that great, uh, great body connection and fluid movement between the partners on the floor, we want to be able to isolate the leg movement from a pelvis that's actually quite still. So now there's an easy exercise that I want to share with you today. And you can do this at home. You don't have to be at the dance studio to do this. So if you have a yoga block, you can use a yoga block, that's what I'm going to use today, or you can just pile a bunch of books on top of each other. Or you could do it on one stair. The only thing there is that it restricts the, the movement a little bit and sometimes there might be a fear of falling, or you could fall, so it might be dangerous. So I would suggest using books or a yoga block. So let me show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to take my yoga block, I'm going to put it on the ground, and then I'm going to put a step up onto it with one foot and then let the other foot dangle. And we're just going to stay here for a minute and try to feel like all the muscles around your leg and into your glutes relax and allow that leg to drop towards the floor. So we want to get rid of any ex excessive gripping in this area. You can do little movements forward, just little swings back and forth, right, just to loosen up the muscles. You can do a little bit of turning and then like a little bit of like swinging out to the side, right? Just really try to try to relax everything in uh, that connects your pelvis to your leg, right? Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit bigger movements and the focus is not to move the pelvis and we want to do the movement with as little effort as possible so it's not like we're or like bearing down on the pelvis and trying to keep it you know tight and in place we want to stay nice and relaxed and allow the isolation of the leg movement within the pelvis so you can start with little swings and then gradually get bigger and what i want you to notice is when your pelvis starts to move and if it does move bring it back and swing just a little bit smaller and then gradually build it up to a point where you can swing and be really relaxed, of course, without the pelvis moving. Woo, you see that's gonna take me off balance. <laughs> this is a good exercise for balance as well. The more you isolate your leg within your pelvis, the more you're gonna be on balance. Um, so you get uh, two birds for one stone today. All right, so we're gonna just make larger leg swings, keeping the pelvis nice and relaxed, keeping it steady. All right. You can also do rotations, which is important um, in standard and smooth as well. It's a little bit more complex than we're looking at today, but this is a great exercise to be able to practice that isolation, the turning of the femur in the pelvis. Uh, you can also do little leg swings out to the side, which is important, of course, in like the waltz, for example. Uh, we, what we want to make sure is when we go out to the side that we're not hiking the hip up with it, right? So that we're really isolating that leg from the hip. And then we're going to take it more into like a forward and back action, 
Um, just focusing on, on the moving leg though. So as we go forward, we're gonna swing the leg and then we're gonna bend at the hip, creasing the hip and bending the knee. And then we're going to drop the knee back, extending through the hip and then pointing the foot, foot back without taking the pelvis with it. So we're only gonna go back as far as we can without letting the pelvis go as well, right? So that you're gonna know your boundaries. So here the pelvis is nice and still, muscles are relaxed. We crease in the hip and draw the knee up. And then we're going to take the leg back, extending through the hip, pointing the foot back. Now, the way that you're going to get more extension back, because all teachers are like, extend your leg, extend your leg, get your leg out of my way, that's going to happen because of the bending of the other leg. But we're not gonna get into that today. We're just focusing on this action right here. So one thing at a time. So one more time, we're gonna crease in the hip, drawing the knee up, making sure that the pelvis is level and stable, and then taking it back, extending through the hip, and pointing the foot back. So this is a very simple exercise, but when you do it, I want you to focus on the complexity within the simplicity. So I want you to focus on the isolation and the, the minute, tiny little catches that you might feel when you move the leg forward and up, the pelvis moves just a little bit. So it's not just about being able to swing your leg forward and back. It's about being able to swing the leg forward without any movement of the pelvis and the pelvis being relaxed as you move the leg forward and back. So this is a simple effective exercise to be able to isolate your leg movement from your pelvic movement, which is going to help you get smoother movement in body contact with your partner, as well as help you stay more balanced on your own two feet. Now, of course, this isn't the only thing involved in getting the smooth movement, but let me tell you, if you don't have this, you won't get the smooth movement. So more to come on smooth movement in body contact with your partner, but just get started with this one first and you're gonna see that it starts to make an enormous difference. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video.